Hello, my friends. I am at 34th Street, Herald Square. This is where Broadway Avenue intersects with 6th Avenue. In the background here behind me, you can see the Empire State Building. This is the second tallest building in New York City. It is 104 stories tall. Wonderful observation deck on the 86th floor. I am going to go into Macy's today. Macy's at this time of year has a wonderful display of flowers from all over the world, the Macy's Flower Show. So we're going in, we're walking, as you can see today, April 4, it's a beautiful day out. People outside enjoying the nice weather, it's nice and sunny. This year's show is running from March 22nd up until April 4. Today is April 4, 2015, so today is the last day. And it's called Art in Bloom. Art in Bloom, let's go and check it out. I am entering the store from the Herald Square area. We walk in, we see a representation of Michelangelo's David with flower projections covering his body. Beautiful flower displays of orchids and other types. Tropical flowers, flowers from all over the world. This is the back. Over here you can pick up Piet Mondrian's Broadway Murray Boogie, a very popular work of art that's on display at the Museum of Modern Art on 53rd Street between 6th and 5th Avenue. Further down, after you enter from Herald Square, on display here, there are references to Henry Matisse. Henry Matisse, not long ago, there was an exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art that was organized featuring his very popular cutouts. So here you have those silhouettes of figures that you see are references to Henry Matisse. Visitors from all over the world taking photographs in front of the beautiful display. This display here consists of cactuses and uh, other flowers. The guitar that you see is a reference to Pablo Picasso in one of his three-dimensional, or a reference to one of his sculptures. I do not recognize all of the painting references in this particular display here, but if I move closer, I definitely recognize this reference here to Frida Kahlo from Mexico. Also, girl with a pearl earring is represented over here behind the, behind the tree. Here by the makeup section, there's a display called the Renaissance Garden. And it's inspired after gardens from Europe in the 1400s. These are more references to the Renaissance Garden by the makeup section in the first level of Macy's. The discus thrower, right at the top over there. One of the most popular sculptures from antiquity. Here's the other side. Again, this is the discus thrower. A very popular sculpture from antiquity. Renaissance is a word that means rebirth. At the time of the Renaissance, in the late 1400s, Europe went through a process or movement where it was believed that they were the heirs, or a lot of the knowledge that was generated in antiquity was in essence rediscovered. A lot of that knowledge forms the canons that form our Western culture today. This here is a surrealist garden inspired by this very popular art movement that began in France in the early 20th century.
This is the Art Nouveau garden, another French art movement inspired by natural forms and strong emphasis on decoration as well. In Paris today, there are many train stations. The older ones from the early 20th century are inspired, or the visual vocabulary and the designs of those train stations are echo this particular art movement from the early 20th century. This garden here by the sunglass section is inspired after contemporary art. A lot of these flowers and plants I've learned from a past tour that I participated on the Macy's Flower Show, I've learned to go to the New York City Department of Parks and they go to decorate public spaces in this amazing city. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I was surprised to find that this year's flower display at Macy's incorporated art. Art is a very powerful element that helps refine and elevate people's spirits. And today in age, in our cultural climate, with all the chaos that is happening, people killing one another, this is something that we need. Now, a lot of people are not aware that Art is doing this to their spirits, but our cultural climate, our future, is molded by the things that people are exposed to. I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're new, I'll be uploading new videos on a frequent basis. Also, if you're on Facebook, like the Facebook page so to be updated of new updates when they become available. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, or morning, wherever you are. Enjoy this wonderful view of the Empire State Building from 34th Street close to 7th Avenue.